So I'm very pleased to welcome you today for this webinar on chemical engineering in the plants of a future. First, I would like to introduce myself. I am Martin Pux, and I act as the scientific secretary at the European Federation of Chemical Engineering, the general secretary at the French Society of Chemical Engineering, and I carry out my research at the Laboratory of Chemical Engineering at the University of Toulouse in the south of France. This is the third event of this series, European Forum on New Technologies, and we have chosen the topic on the plant of the future. Called sometimes Industry 4.0, Smart Factory, Factory of the Future, there is a lot of terms to define it. We have invited speakers coming from industry, from academia, to provide you a vision of the future of the process industry and also on the place of the chemical engineer in this industry, which is now rapidly changing. The full program. The full program displays four topics, and now the first ones are on the plant of a future in the society, new ways of process conception will be developed. The following profound shift in operating processes, training and learning will be presented on next Friday in the afternoon. Here you can see the program and we are going to start the webinar by an introduction by uh, Herman Pfizer and Francois Nicole. We are respectively the presidents of the European Federation of Chemical Engineering and the French Society of Chemical Engineering. And then Francois Nicole will share with us the vision of the French, uh, the French Society of Chemical Engineering on this topic. So now, before that, I give the floor to Willy, who is going to give you some practical information of the webinar. Thank you very much for attending this webinar, and I hope we will enjoy it. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you, Martin. Um, so I'm here, hopefully. Yeah, I'm here again. Uh, thank you very much. Also, warm welcome from my side. I'm Billy Meyer from the Frankfurt office. And before we start, I uh, would like to introduce to you to the system and some housekeeping things. We use the Zoom software, which you might already know. It gives you some possibilities for interaction. You see on the lower uh, part of your screen, maybe also on the upper part if you use a Macintosh computer, a button Q&A. This is just where you can put your questions in to the presenters, uh, to the moderators, whatever. And uh, I would like to invite you to do this already uh, during the presentations. This makes it easier for us to sort this out. And after the, after the presentation in the Q&A session, we can more effectively uh, uh, address these, these questions to the, to the speaker. The other possibility which you have uh, to communicate with us is the raise your hand issue. Uh, you can have a raise your hand uh, uh, button or item also on the screen. If you push this, we see that you would like to say something and depending on the time which is available for the Q&A, we can unmute, unmute your microphone so that you can speak directly to us in an audio, audio way so that we can really have some interaction. Well, this is all I would like to introduce uh, you to the system. Uh, I hope we have a good session uh, today and next Friday. So having said this, I hand over to the president of the EFCE, Hermann Weiss. Oh, thank you, Willy. Um, dear colleagues, very good morning here in Europe or good afternoon if you're east of us or uh, great, you made it out of bed that early if you're west of us. Um, when two years ago EFCE started this new series on new technologies, we believed that large conferences with you know call for papers a year ahead are not a suitable tool for new subjects. Um, our French colleagues agreed to organize the first one, which was on chemical engineering and 3D printing, and we met in Paris. Now, for this third forum, we selected chemical engineering in the plant of the future because it followed nicely after our digitalization forum and we wanted to go back to Paris. Well, Corona measures prohibited that. 
but the need for discussion and scientific exchange remains. So I'm very happy that we're joined together and we're about 200 people here, much more than would ever have been able to make the trip. Um, and we can hear and discuss opinions, visions, warnings about the plant of the future. Uh, my sincere thanks go to Martine and SFGP for developing the program and organizing speakers and to Willi, Ines and the team at Dechema for hosting this one day event split over two Fridays. So the European Federation of Chemical Engineering, which I have the pleasure to lead, brings together about 100,000 chemical engineers and it helps its member societies to represent the community all across Europe. So one thing we did is to develop a digital system which can provide a virtual exchange format, almost like a real conference, with plenary presentations, breakout sessions, chat rooms, poster presentations, exhibition facilities. We're not using everything today, so um, the almost only thing it doesn't do is making coffee. The tool is available for chemical engineering groups and organizations to use. Obviously, the software and running it costs money, so it can't always be for free but it's sure easier to organize and less risky than an in-person meeting these days. So one thing we will do with it is a number of thematic net webinars organized by the EFCE working parties and sections. It's still early days, but one can expect it to run early December this year. So you may want to watch our website at efce.info or sign up to our newsletter so you don't miss it. With that, thank you for dialing in. Thank you, Martin, Ines, Willi, and the team for making this possible. Thank you to the speakers for agreeing to speak and welcome online for chemical engineering in the plant of the future. Francien, it's up for you. Thank you, Raman, and good morning, everyone. So my name is Francois Nicole. I'm director of the process engineering department in Veolia and also president of SFGP. So, in the name of SFGP, the French Society of Chemical Engineering, I'm very happy to welcome you to this one-day event, the third of a series organized by EFCE. SFGP has worked for more than two years to develop the French vision of the factory of the future. The key point I want to emphasize right now is that this study deals with the factory of the future for the process industries. So it is in a multi-sectors approach. Today, we have the opportunity to present this work, summarized in a white book we published in October 19 during our latest SFGP National Congress. So this white book is available on our website, SFGP. And today the aim is now to confront this SFGP vision with the definition and the expectation from the other countries, other European countries, for the factory of the future. And I'm sure we'll have passionate debate. So thank you for attending today. <laughs> 